This is Herbet El Rai in southern Israel, where archaeologists say they found a piece of pottery with a rare inscription. This is the seventh year for this excavation site. This year, archaeologists are talking about finds from the biblical book of Judges. The most exciting discovery is an inscription, which is from around 1100 BC, the time of the Judges. We know very little about this period from a archaeological point of view, and uh, we don't have any uh, meaningful inscription from this period. Then, they discovered part of a jar handle in a storage pit in the ground. The name Yerubal, Jerubal in English, was written on it in ink. And this is the first time that we have an inscription from the time of the judges with a meaning. And in this case, even the same name appearing both on the inscription and in the biblical tradition. So Excavation director Professor Josef Garfinkel says they've found about 100,000 pot shards at the site. But why this is so important? Because it was inked and we have here five letters. We have Yud and Resh and Bet and Ayn and Lamed. And when you read it, you get the name Yerubal. Gideon's father Joash calls his son Jerubal in the book of Judges because he tore down the altar of Baal and then defeated the Midianites. Archaeologists say the owner likely wrote his name on the small jar. They don't have proof that the inscription refers to Gideon of the Bible, but Garfinkel says it's significant because it highlights the historical connection to the Bible. So it's indications that there were historical memories embedded in the biblical text and passed from generation to generation. Several years ago, Garfinkel told CBN News he believes pottery dating back to King David and other findings point to Chirbet El Rai as the Philistine town of Ziklag, where David escaped King Saul. This year, about 25 local university students had to replace 100 volunteers kept away due to COVID-19 restrictions. Most are studying archaeology and are happy to be here. It's fun when you like go into like the field and then you see, like, oh, I do know, you know what I mean? You pick up something and you're like, I know what this is. I studied it in class and I know what it is. And they see the biblical connection. Dr. Yossi Garfinkel is doing a great job in actually proving the Bible is actually a historical story and not just a mythology. This was meant to be the last season for excavating at the site, but Garfinkel says if they find more artifacts, they may keep digging. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Herbert El Rai, Israel.